This is a tutorial on how to do the unlimited export system out of GMAX for Flight Simulator 2004, or as we call it, FS9. We're going to start in uh, GMAX. I have a GMAX model that's going together. And I've also opened up a number of folders to have them ready. One is the uh, unlimited export uh, folder. The ULE is the name of the system. And we, uh, we have some tools that we've downloaded and preset so that we have the name programmed into it and the scale. And that's all included in the instructions kit with um, this package whenever you download it. We also have set up two versions of the Flight Sim 2004 plugin for uh, GMAX. We have a regular FS2004 game pack. And then I have one here that's called the FS2004 Pure. Now in the regular 2004 game pack, the plugins have the Minuteman and Model Commander um, add-ons that help you to save files that are normally deleted by GMAX. So in other words, whenever I export the first time with the regular version of FS2004, Model Commander will save all the files of which I need the X files for on this process. And then I'll use it again in this process and use the uh, pure version and it will have the regular make model that will produce the parts that I need. All right, let's go over here to GMAX. And what we're gonna do is we're going to export the plane, the interior, and the passengers. Let's go ahead and export the plane first. Let's go all, let's deselect the interior. And the passengers. So now we have the plane, this will be the base platform. And that's done. Let's export the cabin. We're going to call the cabin 300. It speeds things up on the export. I don't know why. If you put Avelina underscore 300, which is a normal LOD uh, system of naming, uh, it takes a long time for it to export. We don't want to do that. We just, we assemble them a different way. Now we're going to export the three guys. We're going to call this one 400. They'll only be exported for the exterior model. We don't need them in the interior model. they get in the way. So, let's save this. We're done. On my model, my interior cockpit is the same as the outside, so I don't have to worry about um, uh, exporting a different one. And it's no problem. I could have 12 or 15 different exports. I could have uh, model 350, model 400, model 450, model 500, 520, 550. It goes on. We're almost unlimited on this process. Now, if you'll notice, we've got a bunch of files over here now. All I need is the X files, and I'll have three of them. I had three different exports. So we'll de-select de, um, those and we'll delete the others. We now have three. Now what we need to do is rename some of these files because they're going to be, um, they're, they're LODs. And this is how the system works. It uses LOD file tags and then some rigging of their files in order to get them to work as a giant model in the end of this process. So on this one we're going to name it Avelina underscore 300. Voila. And that makes it a part of the of the package. This one's going to be 400. 
underscore 400. Now we need interior parts. And as I said on mine, we'll use the outside. And we're going to use this cabin. So now let's rename these. Uh, this one being the interior is going to be Avelina Interior. Interior.x. And this one's going to be Avelina Interior 350. We're going to joggle the name so that there's no interference with animations. We think that possibly animations with the same name of interior and exterior models might be causing a bug in which some of the animations do not work. So we joggle the names between like let's say the exterior 300 and the interior 300. So now the exterior 300 will be that and the interior will be exterior 340 or 50 or 60, something different. Okay now we got all these. Well, now we need to take them to the ULE folder, ULE folder. So we'll grab all of them drag them over here and we've preset the uh, X file scale modifier to run automatically and preset the scale in these X files so we'll go ahead and do that double click hit enter to continue hit enter to continue done now we go over here drag these back out onto the desktop they've now been modified the avelina.x, that's my primary file. I'm now going to take that and run it through the stock make model uh, program again. That's in our FS2004 plugins folder. And when we do this, we check it first. And so um, we've got two interiors, three exteriors, 100, 300, 400, and 100 and 350. So we're looking good. That's what we want. Now on here, we're going to turn on has reflective map. We turn off optimize, turn off weld points. We switch on ignore warnings, switch on ignore bad no normals, and we switch off crash. Hit start. Now while this is running, it's activated a secondary background program that runs with it. We're going to have to turn that off as soon as we turn this off. Now, while this is running, it's going to be creating our ASM files. As you can see, they're starting to appear here on the left. And when it gets to the main ASM file, let's say Avelina underscore ASM, two other program things will pop up that has like, one of them has dollar signs, one of them says AZM. When we see those, we shut this off. We shut off make model. It's about to happen. And there it is. And now, we'll say, do you want to send in a thing to Microsoft and tell them what happened? We say no, don't send. Then, we go Control Delete. We find BGLML. There it is. We end that one. Yes, please. Turn that off. We take this dollar signs ASM and the AZM file, and we delete those. We now have our ASM file, avelina.asm, and we take that and we return it to the Yuli folder. Drop that in there, and then we run the ASM scale. It's already set up. Hit enter, 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 done. Drag it back out here, and now we're going to take this and we're going to drop it in the BGL file folder. Let's see, we already got it set up, it's right there. It's the BGLC-9.exe program. And what this one will do is it will uh, compile the final model. They use it mainly in the scenery industry, but we found that it can make aircraft too. This is by Arno and his team. It does an awesome job. Right now it's compiling the uh, final aircraft model off of the uh, that Av Avelina ASM file. compiling should just take a minute when your aircraft starts to get near completion and it's a massive model you'll have to run this thing it'll, it'll probably run like say four or five minutes it's a long time and uh, but it's it's worth it you're getting all of your polygons nothing's auto welded the scales perfect in the end 
everything just looks awesome so should be done any second when this is done it'll have produced a um, BGL file it'll be abelina.bgl I call them bagel files so we rename it from a bagel to a model file which will be abelina.mdl there it is let's rename it MDL. Let's go ahead and drop it in the folder for it in Flight Sim 9. We've got the airplane already going together. And let's go ahead and boot that up. This will take just a minute to boot up. What I've done is I've pre selected, a, I, I saved a flight and I dragged a copy of it with its weather counterpart file out onto my... I can right click on that and select uh, with 2004 and what it does is it uh, boots up that flight directly and we don't have to go in, we don't have to boot up flight simulator and select a plane and a flight and all that we go directly into the flight, it's pretty nice and there's the plane looks like it came out okay, let's check the cabin it's a new plane, it's coming together. Okay, we got the guys missing on the interior, which is what we wanted. And that's it. That's the unlimited export system. Let me just give you a couple little quick views of things. You can see that we've got extreme, extremely small parts with really fine mesh. Nothing's jagged looking. Well, it's not really jagged, but those little spheres right there, those buttons, they're tiny. This system just works amazing. Nothing, nothing is, uh, is ruined by um, auto weld. Everything comes out really nice. So that's it. That's the unlimited export system. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I covered all the details for you.